Hello guys and welcome to today's video on um, question 17 for the Edexcel paper 2 specimen set to um, calculate a paper yeah, for the GCC foundation tier. Okay, right guys, this video was recorded on Friday yeah, the 2nd of October 2020. Right guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Abdal Ohishi and I'm a private maths tutor and a recently qualified maths teacher for secondary and primary, um, I make videos here um, for all different levels here, um, predominantly key stage 3 and GCC and A level maths, okay, uh, please do yeah, subscribe to my channel and drop the video a like and turn on personal notifications so you, so you guys can be notified of when my videos are, okay? Um, but at the minute, guys, yeah, obviously, yeah, if you're new, um, I'm currently yeah, going through the Edit Soul, yeah, um, Foundation um, exam papers for anyone setting their exams yeah, in the in the November 2020 year series year. Um, obviously, yeah, obviously due to exams yeah, being cancelled to COVID-19 yeah, in summer 2020. Okay, so that is the plan yeah, for, for the next set of videos this year. So I'm going to try and do um, edits or yeah, AQA um, foundation higher. And then if I get chance, yeah, I'll try and do the OCR as well. Okay. So yeah, right guys, this is question number 17. 17A says, simplify... 7x plus 2x minus 3x plus 4y. So I collect like terms here. So 7x minus 3x is 4x. 2y plus 4y is equal to 6y. So my answer is 4x plus 6y or 6y plus 4x or two brackets 2x plus 3y. Okay, right guys, part B, factorise 10x minus 15. So I take the 5 out as a common factor. So 5 brackets 2x minus 3, brackets closed, and then I can check my answer by expanding, 5 times 2x is 10x, and 5 times minus 3 is minus 15, so that is correct, okay, part C guys, solve 5p is equal to 3p plus 8, so what I did was minus 3p on both sides, so to get p's on one side, 5p minus 3p is 2p, 3p minus 3p is going to be 0, so the, the right hand side here is going to be 8, so 2p equals 8, 2p means 2 times p, so dividing both sides by 2 and I get p is equal to 4, okay, so that is my answer for question number 17, so part A was 1 mark, part B was 1 mark, and then part C was 2 marks, because it was a two-step equation, okay, thank you so much for watching, guys, and um, don't forget, yeah, to ch check out Corbett Maths and the GC Maths tutorials here for more, yeah, um, walkthroughs for past papers, okay, thank you so much for watching, guys, stay safe, and I will see you soon, okay, happy Friday, bye now.